Oh my god, I have one good guy. I have one guy on that. That was all an act. Hi, it's me. Uh, here to talk to you about Battlebit Remastered. Now, I know you're looking behind me and you're probably like, I can't, Cambry, this game looks like dog shit. <laughs> yes, I agree, it doesn't have the most uh, flattering graphics. Maybe it's not all about the graphics. Maybe, maybe it's not all about how the game looks, and I will stand by this, okay? Play this game for 15 minutes and tell me it does not have better gunplay than Battlefield 2042 ever did. You can't. Even though the graphics don't look that great, god damn it, the gameplay is so much fun, and I, I'm going to talk to you about it. So, here we go. Battlebury Mastered is a uh, Lego Roblox-esque take on the Battlefield and Call of Duty series. And uh, it does it, it does it better than most of the of the games that have come out recently. In fact, if you look behind me, it uh, it has almost three more than three times the amount of players that Battlefield 2042 currently has. And there's a reason for that. There is a very big reason for that. Now I don't know the the, the developers' names at all. I just know their usernames and gamer tags, and it's three people. Uh, it's Sergeant Okie Doki, Aliskis, and the Liquid Horse. These three nameless Giga Chads decided to develop what I can only describe as the best shooter in the past like year or so that I have very much enjoyed. So first of all, they've put a lot of love into this game already. There's over 40 guns. What you're seeing behind me is actually the showcase of all of those guns being reloaded and fired. Uh, and there's already promise of five more guns being added, which is amazing. I love that they're already updating the game and keeping it fresh whenever no one is tired of it. Everyone's still having a blast. It's one of the most popular games on Twitch right now, if you go look at it. And uh, that's amazing. And each gun has their own add-ons, and there's five classes that you can play as, and there's no meta builds, which is the biggest thing that I am so grateful for, is that there's no meta builds. I don't have to use the double dual wheel revolver giga chip bird shot build number 4002 to get kills. You're allowed to use whatever gun you want and build it however you want and it will it's viable. It will kill someone. Thank you, dude. Oh my god. Besides this massive gun selection, there's also vehicles that have already been added to the game. Uh, there's the tanks, which are amazing, and they can destroy buildings and create entrances for other players to get into. Overall, just put pressure on a site, kill some of the bad guys. They work wonderfully. Uh, the vehicles, such as the cars and uh, mainly like all-terrain vehicles that you have, those are used for zipping around and uh, often at the beginning of the matches when they're used to get to the sites for the first time before the enemy team. But you'll occasionally see them uh, Humvees and stuff like that just zooming around mid-match and it's great to see. There's also actual helicopters with miniguns on the side that are mounted for shooting and this also promotes teamwork because it, it basically lets the helicopter you have to position it correctly in order to get a sight on the things that you're trying to shoot. So not only does it allow for there to be more game mechanics in there to make to add that level of complexity to each map, it also just generally promotes teamwork. And oh my god, is there teamwork to be had. The community in this game are some of the funniest people I have ever had the pleasure to play with. And uh, that is maybe 25% of the reason that I play this game. The community is so goddamn funny. I love... A few things bring me more joy than just listening to the VoIP chat in this game. Just get just listen. Just listen. I love you. Manic! <laughs> you got the support, boys. Oh, thanks, dog. Why did you? Why did you? <laughs> what did you say?
Out the way, out the way, out the way. Okay. <laughs> hey, get the Drive line. the car. Drive your car. Now, the other reason that I play this game, and this accounts for like, I don't know, about 50%, is um, the, 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 the class that I play, Assault, he has this thing. This thing makes the entire game so much, so much goddamn fun. Now I think it's time to talk about the classes. But first we got Assault, which is what I play. Uh, they come equipped with the Sledgehammer for making uh, holes in walls and kind of making your own pathways on the map, getting behind enemy lines. Just, I love that class. It's super aggressive, super fast paced, very fun to play. Then you have your Squad Leader. I don't have that much experience with Squad Leader. I just never really got an interest in playing it. They have access to air drones and other things like that to keep an eye uh, on the enemy from a distance. Uh, then you have your medic. Your medic comes with a medic kit and he can revive people faster. He can heal himself back to full health and uh, he can heal his teammates back to full health. I actually really like this that there's not regenerative health because it kind of uh, strikes a fine line in between realism and unrealistic. Now I know that sounds really dumb considering the graphics. But I do very much like it as a gameplay design because it puts emphasis on your health much more than other games would. And you can't just hide in a corner and heal yourself back to full unless you are a medic. Then you have your engineers who come equipped with uh, heavy RPGs and explosives that can kill multiple enemies at once if they're hiding uh, in a same room vicinity. That becomes very useful. Then you have your support who will come in and drop you ammo and he is very good because you will run out of ammo pretty quickly. Uh, that also being said, your magazines actually stay what capacity they are at, which I also very much enjoy. Um, it does not auto load a new mag for you if that makes sense. You have a diagram of the magazines you have in the bottom uh, corner and they stay at that capacity until you choose to combine the magazines and fill them back up which I think adds a level of awareness that you need to have, which is uh, refreshing to see because not a lot of games do that. And the only games that do that uh, require, you to, require you to play 100 hours to even understand the game. I'm looking at you, Tarkov. I don't know why I said that I have a lot of hours in Tarkov. <laughs> I think that's what actually makes this game shine more so than other games and just kind of stand out, is it manages to blend those aspects of realistic games, such as Squad and Tarkov, with the combining of magazines and the health staying at the same uh, amount until you have a specific squad member that can heal you. But it also blends that with the Call of Duty and Battlefield formula where it's very fun, very fast paced and arcadey. And then even kind of takes some inspirations from Arma or R6 where you can lean and get nasty angles on people. And it kind of just takes those key elements from uh, each of those games and blends them together in a very fun and satisfying formula to play. And that is what really makes this game stand out above the rest, I feel like. Uh, but I think that's really all I wanted to talk about in this video. This game is fairly straightforward and simple. That's not to say it's bad at all. It's just, it's not going to be as long as a video as my Diablo 4 video just because there's not that much content to go over. But this game's also like $15. So I didn't expect to have that much content to go over, but I think that pretty much sums it up. If you're looking for a fun, fast-paced shooter to play, go pick up Battle Battleberry Master, dude. Like, there's no, re it's it's a it's a fun-ass game. Um, but uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, go follow my Twitch, and yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good rest of your day, everyone.